I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Why is Galactose Classified as a Simple Sugar? Okay, so uh, here we have one of the cyclic forms of galactose, and so remember that galactose can be acyclic as well, and it can have actually a few different varieties on, of cyclic forms, depending on if it's going to form a five or six membered ring. So here we have alpha D galactopyranose. Um, all right, and so this is called a simple sugar. And another word for it is a monosaccharide. Saccharide. Okay, so uh, it's a monosaccharide because it's a sugar and there's only one of them. So the most basic sugar we have is this one uh, structure that's either a five or six membered ring usually, and so we call it a saccharide, and this guy gets mono. So what's an alternative to a monosaccharide? Well, it's a disaccharide. So this is called sucrose. This is the specific disaccharide it is, and it's a general term is a disaccharide. So what this means is that you can see we have two, one, two sugars. Um, and so the difference between a simple sugar and a complex sugar is just that a simple sugar cannot be broken down into more sugars. So if you start cutting galactose in half, you're not going to have a sugar anymore. You're going to have a couple of two or three carbon um, molecules. But if you cut sucrose in half right here at this linkage, you'll simply have two sugars. So simple sugar, you can't dissect it to get any more sugars. Uh, more complex sugar like disaccharide or polysaccharide, uh, you can like sucrose. I'm Robin Higgins and this is Why is Galactose Classified as a Simple Sugar?